Hi, I'm Erica. Adding contacts and cases and linking the two are the first steps in working in my case. Adding contacts and cases allows you to add contact information for new clients and create a case in one step. You can also set case-specific billing rates for firm members and import case data quickly and efficiently. The first step to creating a case is to add a client and any other contacts or parties associated with the case. This may include the opposing counsel expert or judges. This is important for conflict checking and allowing you to share sensitive case information. You must have a contact for a case to create invoices and get paid. Let's create a contact and case by selecting the case icon in the dashboard. The first step is to add a contact. We can add a new contact or search for existing contacts in the system. Let's find our opposing counsel and the judge handling this case. We don't have a client in the system yet, so go ahead and add them. We do that by clicking the Add New Contact button. Then, all of the information for our client. We encourage you to add an email address and enable the client portal for everyone. This way, you can easily communicate securely with your client. See the related article in the Support Center to learn more about the client portal. We also have the option to add more information and or custom fields. This allows us to enter information like date of birth, company, job title, and contact notes. Custom fields allows us to create fields for unique details we want to collect for contacts and cases. Some examples might be a spouse's name, if the client has children, beneficiaries, or things like that. Click the Save Contact button to save the contact, and then continue to case details. Let's add some case details and a case name, and then add as much detail as needed, including turning on conflict check and enable leads billing. Next, click custom fields to show a list of all the custom fields you have based on the area of practice. Then click continue to billing. This is where we will set up our billing contact. A case must have a billing contact to be included in billing a client. At any point, you can remove the billing contact or make changes later on. Then, we will assign a billing method for the case and if we select flat or mixed fee. We will see this amount reflected in our invoices. Then, we will add the amount. Finally, let's click the Continue to Staff button to grant firm members access. Let's select the lead and originating attorneys. Then, we'll add who should have access to the case. Whoever we select receives an automatic email and in-program notifications of additions, changes, and developments to this case. If we want to grant access to all members of the firm who have a MyCase license, we'll click the checkbox at the top of the table to select everyone. You can choose to select the default billing rate, which can be created in settings, or overwrite the user's default rate with a case rate specific to this case. Default or case rates pre-populate the rate field when the time entries are created by or on behalf of someone at the firm. Once we have completed our steps, we can save and close this case. Since this case is now in the system, we can go to the details page to manage it. 